everyone. Thanks for stopping by. So I want to start this video off by just saying thank you for those of you who have subscribed to the channel, those of you who are new subscribers and who are engaged with the channel, liking videos, commenting, sharing. So I know I'm still getting my momentum together with putting videos up, but the feedback has been very positive and I thank you for it. In particular, a couple of videos ago, I did a sneaker try on. It was the Dolce & Gabbana Sorrento sneaker. So I did the unboxing and the try on and I got a lot of good feedback and positive reception from that. So I wanted to do another try on video. So in today's video, drum roll, I'm doing a try on from the Icy Park Ivy Park collection. So if you stay up with it, Beyonce, Ivy Park did a collaboration with Adidas to release her Icy Park collection. And it was, first of all, just the build up for the drop. Did you all catch the video? <laughs> Beyonce did her thing. She did her thing. So I was just excited watching the video and just getting excited about what she had to offer for this new line. I've been a fan of Ivy Park for many, many years. I have clothing, mostly fitness from Ivy Park. I think that's what the majority of the line is. So it was pretty cool to see that she is expanding and her design team is expanding beyond fitness and really trying to step into that market with some, it wasn't like a high-end design type launch, but I can really see that possibly being the future for a lot of what she's releasing. So it was more than, it's, it wasn't all athletic wear. And again, if you've checked it out, you probably know what she released. So I purchased two things. When I first saw the trailer video for it, I immediately was just drawn to those ski boots, those snow ski boots. And I just wanted, that's all I wanted. So I was looking at the collection before the drop date. So again, I don't know if this is her first drop, but this was not just going to Ivy Park website or Adidas website and just shopping for things. It was like a true drop. Like you couldn't pre-order anything. You had to be there at a certain time, like 2 p.m. Eastern and then just go for it. Like, like when the Yeezys drop or when Jordan's drop or something from sneakers.com um, drops, things like, like you really had to be there. So I'd already known what I wanted and I wanted those boots and I'll try them on and, and explain why. We're not even going to get into my personality and procrastination and being a scatterbrain. Let's just say that I set my alarm for two o'clock and um, yeah, so at six o'clock, that's when I, I logged in. We're not going to go. We're not going to go there. I just got there. OK, that's all that matters. But by the time I got there, everything was just practically sold out and that should have been expected. It was sold out. So I couldn't get the leggings. I did find the matching top, which I thought would be cute because I can always just wear a different type of leggings to match the top and, and coordinate it that way. The boots were still in stock. So I was really excited about that, but because everything sold out so quickly, my size wasn't available. I wear a nine in women's. There was an eight and a half and I don't, I don't think there's anything in my closet that's an eight and a half. When you know your size and you know how things run, you know what you can and can't wear. So I was a little disappointed, but you know when you wanna just like wish something to being true? So I was just like hoping for the best that, you know, I can make this eight and a half work. I was like, what am I doing? But I wanted it to work so much. And really my thought process was this is, a snow boot like a it's a a ski boot style so it's gonna be bulky so it probably is not going to fit the way 
a running sneaker would fit or a pair of pumps or walking sneakers or shoes or something like that. So I'll take my risk, my chances with the eight and a half. So I put that in my cart. I got the top. They only had extra small, but again, I was like, maybe it's just gonna work because I'm praying. So I bought both of those and um, they came to my house. So I was excited to get them. I just ripped the box open because I wanted to try on the shoes. That's that's all I really wanted. I tried on the shoes and it fit like a glove. It fit perfectly. I was like, thank you. Cause that's really all that I wanted. The top is another story. I'll show you the top. I am not going to try the top one. I was going to, um, I wanted to wear the whole outfit and put it together so you could see the top and the shoes um, together. But the top is just, you know, when you squeeze into something that you shouldn't squeeze into, it, let me tell you how I felt. You ever seen those red hot sausages in those, um, in that plastic encasement? Yeah, that, that was what was happening. I wasn't completely disappointed because I really wanted the shoes and that's really what what I ended up getting. So I am going to try the shoes on. I keep saying shoes, but they're boots. I'm gonna try the boots on and just talk about what I liked about it and give you my review of the boots. Um, before we get into that, a little off topic, but still we're talking about Beyonce. So the Grammys was this weekend and I don't know if you caught it or not. Um, full disclosure, I didn't watch, you know, I caught the highlights and things like that. But shout out to Beyonce. She is the, she is the most awarded woman music artist of all time. This is her 28th Grammy. So she got the Grammy this year for best R&B performance. And I believe that probably was for for the Savage remix with, with Meg Thee Stallion. So also shout out to Meg because she really had an awesome night too. Great performance. And of course, this song is what, what led into that Grammy win. So that was amazing. And um, some other highlights of the night. I love her. Her, H-E-R, like capital H. And she got her Grammy, I think it was for... Um, I think it's for like best song. I, I can't remember the exact award, but sh shout out to her as well because she's so talented and her music is just amazing. So I was really happy to see that. There were just other highlights of the night. So let me know what you thought about the Grammys, Beyonce getting her 28th win. Um, there were a lot of snubs too. So some people were really disappointed who didn't who didn't even get a nomination. Roddy Rich had like a rant. We all know the box was the song. Um, I thought it already was nominated, but I could have been wrong. But anyway, so Roddy Rich um, was snubbed. He didn't get a nomination. There were many others. Um, Nas got his first Grammy. That is crazy that of all these years of incredible music, Nas is getting his first Grammy just now. So he got it for King's Disease, which I love that album. Um, I mean, I know Nas fans probably have like their top albums and, and I've had plenty of conversations and, and debates with um, true um, music hip hop heads and I'm not even gonna take it there because I don't have all my... Um, I don't have all the receipts and all my facts together, but he just simply is talented. He's amazing. And I'm very happy that he got his first Grammy better late than never. So that was my just squeezing in some Grammy, some Grammy tea, some uh, Grammy highlights. Um, but this video is about the Icy Park launch and what I got from from the Icy Park collection. Okay, so now for the unboxing, let's first start with the top, although it didn't fit me. I just still wanna show you what it looks like. So here it is, it's called the Ivy Park monogram top. You can see that it has the monogram that Ivy Park brand uses. This was an extra small, so it was a little too, 
small for me, but I really love the detailing of it. It kind of has like that, that corset material for the, the bra. And then for the top, it has the, that mesh or see-through. This looks like a sort of brown and, or wine color. I don't know what actual color they describe it as, but extremely cute top. When I tried it on, I love the style. I love the fit as it would fit if it were my actual size. If I do find this in a size small, I'll definitely buy it because I do love the top. It has the Ivy Park branding and Adidas logo branding on the on the back, which is a nice ba nice band to give you that support around the bra line. And this retailed for $75. So let's move on to the unboxing of the sneakers. Okay, so it came in a baby blue, sky blue shoe box. Adidas Ivy Park logo, size eight and a half women's. As far as I understand, this is only in a women's shoe, not that a man can't rock it. So, but the sizes are gonna be women's sizes. Slide out box. So it comes with the dust bag with the Adidas and Ivy Park logo. I've already taken these out, so but it was um, fully protected within the box. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the boot. As you look at it, you can see that the look and feel of it is inspired by a snow boot or like a ski type boot. I don't actually know if it is appropriate for the snow. It might be in terms of how it feels. It's very warm inside when I tried the shoe on and the quality and durability of the materials, it possibly could, but in terms of fully engulfing your foot in, in 12 inch snow, I don't know um, if, that, if this type of material could withstand that cold, those type of temperatures and climate, but just in terms of winter weather, I think this probably will hold up. So let's just take a look at it. In terms of the branding, you have Ivy Park, try to get close in there. You have Ivy Park branding on the sole. You just have the Adidas brand. No Ivy Park in the inside. You have the Ivy Park and Adidas logo branding. You have this, it's like a luggage tag on the back that has the Ivy Park logo as Ivy Park branding as well. So in terms of the quality of the materials, the boot is leather so it's leather from front to back you have this patent leather strip going up the tongue and you also have suede on the tongue of the shoe leading up to leather um, where you also have the ivy park branding there as well you have some pretty nice sturdy looking hardware you have these i believe they're called d-rings where for the laces and also the hooks on the side. So pretty nice hardware um, decorated on throughout the boot. I really like the sole, nice, thick, gummy sole. So again, you can imagine that if you were wearing this in the snow or in colder temperatures, you feel really protected with your, with your, um, with this thicker sole. So it looks to be probably around an inch and a half. Um, but it looks really nice. I like the balance of the color. So this is very simple. And as much as I like to wear eccentric stuff, I think I'm really a simple person at heart. So something like this is perfect. Like this color uh, scheme has the balance of these really soft earth tones of, of brown, tan, this suede, this the cream colors throughout. So really nice balance. I think it just keeps it simple, but also very classic, a classic look. So again, I know this is a woman's shoe, but I think that men can rock this as well. I mean, no different than when everyone rocked shell toes or Air Force Ones back in the day, like these are, and still now, these are shoes that have a sort of 
uh, unisex look. So I think anyone can really wear it. I did see a video with someone, uh, with a man trying on the shoe and it looked pretty good on him. So um, I think if you like the style, go ahead and try it. So a, f a few other things about the features of the shoe. There is this rope. I'm not exactly sure what this is for, but again, maybe if this is inspired by a snow boot, it's just for easy carrying. Have more suede on the back, going up the back of the foot. I think that's just about everything. Um, I will try this on and finish up the rest of my review. This is the full view of me wearing the Ivy Park Super Sleek boot called the Iceberg. It is a very comfortable boot, durable, high quality materials. As you can see from the boot in the close-up, it does look a little bulky, so it might just limit what I can wear with it, but overall, it's a great shoe. The price point is very appropriate at $180, which falls in line with any well-made, constructed boot, especially that of a luxury brand. So overall, I give this a 9 out of 10. All right, so we just did the try on, the unboxing of the Ivy Park Super Sleep Boot from the Icy Park Collection. So overall, my review is pretty positive. The style is a very fresh, modern look, but I think it plays on some classic styles that we've seen over the years. Possibly when I wear it later on, I'll do a follow-up review, but that's what I have for you for today. So let me know what you think about the shoe. If you purchased anything from the recent Icy Park release and what you thought of those things. Also, how did you feel about the Grammys? How do you feel about Beyonce getting her 28th Grammy, many of the other Grammy winners, and also those who got snubbed this year? So hope to hear from you. Please subscribe and like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.